back like we never left BDA, and this episode, while it was filler, even though Oda helped with, it's going to be helping with this whole filler stuff with Sabo, so technically I can say we can call this canon because these events actually happened, so th this episode, I would say, off the bat, amazing. Got Sabo talking to all of them in the house of Kiddos, and he's basically letting them know what happened, how is he his brother, all that stuff, but before Sabo even gets there, they're just discussing sleeping arrangements, food, Kiros, Zoro, even Bellamy is there, so that's the, the beginning of it, but it, it gets good after Sabo comes in, because at first, they didn't have the reaction that they did when Ace told him that he was Luffy's brother, but they had a reaction like, okay, right, we, we've never heard about you, and Sabo went into exactly what happened and how you never heard about him. It was some flashback. It was some flashback to, I mean, most, all of it was flashback, but flashback to things we've seen before. We saw Sabo in the Goa Kingdom and him meeting Dragon and him getting shot down by the, the, the Tenry Beto. We, we saw all that again, but we saw extras. We saw him floating up to the surface, Dragon actually saving him. We see Dragon taking him to the ship and then they're deliberating as far as what they want to do with him. So Sabo, he, he doesn't remember anything, but he just remembers that he does not want to go back to the Goa Kingdom no matter what. And that just shows that um, he had memory loss. He had memory loss, amnesia, but just memory loss. So he just knew he didn't want to go back at all to the Gold Kingdom, and that that was you know that, that just shows how much he hated that place. That whole part ends with Ivankov asking Dragon, "Okay, Dragon, what, what, what do you want to do?" And it, you know ends off there, and it, it's kind of cool because he forgot some of the quirks of Ivankov as far as a bit of jokes and stuff, and that was cool to see. It moves forward, and then we get Sabo a bit older, and well, at the same point, he's training, and Hack is true. I, okay, he's like the trainer of the revolutionaries because you see a lot of kids there and he's training them and Sabo's just like, all right, I, I don't want to train with these guys. These guys, they're punks, essentially, so I'm not going to train with you. And Hack, he's already, he's already getting beaten by Sabo. Sabo went and he's training by himself. He's jumping and Hack even says he has a lot of skill fighting already. He must have been a naughty kid. So Sabo back then, I mean, his fighting prowess was on the same level as Ace. So he, we know Sabo was pretty talented. Moving Moving forward to that though, Sabo, we see, okay, so we see Dragon, we see more of Dragon and that's always good. We see Koala, him and Koala were basically neck and neck, well not neck and neck, but they, they work closely together and we saw Kuma. Kuma is a freaking giant because he heard the footsteps of him walking and all that and that Kuma revolutionary. We saw Kuma and he challenged Kuma, Kuma just, you know, one shots him every time, but then as he got older, he, he kind of stumbled into the pipe and he attacked Dragon and Dragon just, you know, just casually, you know, one shots, one shots him. So th that was really good to see. We saw them attacking, or they're saving a few people from this this country, and they had people shooting at them. And Sabo being reckless, he just runs in there, and he, he you know, they they basically accomplished the mission. But then Sabo leads all the army away to him, and then when he got to everywhere where he's by himself, I, I you know, the first thought was Ryosuke. It that, that that was my first thought, and of course that's what he did. Dragon breath blew everybody away. It was it was. Awesome. I was like, you know, the thing that's crazy here is that at 17, Sabo already knew he had observation hockey and armament hockey. Because when he was running towards the fire, he he knew he saw the, the, the animation around him. Everything was slow motion to him and then armament hockey to break the doors down. And it's like at 17, Luffy didn't know any of that. So Sabo had a leg up on Luffy in that regard. So he he would he was probably training with Dragon, and you know a lot of people say that Dragon was his trainer, but for most of it, Sabo was training on his own. He was by himself. He wasn't getting trained from Hack. Maybe at some point Dragon stepped in to show him like arm and hockey and stuff like that, but he was mostly trained on his own. And then that begs the question: between at 17 years old, who was strong, him or Ace? Because Ace was the rookie that got offered to as far as a warlord. You know, at, at 17 years old, so Ace was making a name for himself as well. It's it just shows that you know I feel like they're pretty pretty much the same level. And if Sabo knew Armor and Hockey, how could Ace not know Armor and Hockey? Hopefully, Oda explains that one day and show us that Ace knew Armor and Hockey and some form of observation because Sabo at this point at 17 looks like he had the leg up on Ace. Ace Sabi. <laughs> A, Sabo, and Luffy being on the same crew would have been amazing. I don't think they would have stayed on the same crew because they're, they're alpha males, essentially. I mean, well, Ace kind of changed his tone after he met Whitebeard, who wasn't a super alpha, I guess, but it, it would have been a great crew for them to be together. Just seeing Sabo's training and everything that he went through, that was that was great to see. I mean, we're going to see... I, I, 
touching part, um, this whole episode kind of, you know, reminiscent of like when thinking about Ace, that was, that was tough, but Sabo at some point, they, 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 when they mentioned about Ace and him getting, him turning down to becoming a Shichibukai, he said, they said his name was Port Guz D and out of nowhere, you know, just instinct, he just said Ace, then he forgot about it. So I just imagine like when he found out that Ace was dead, that's just crazy. Next episode, I'm not sure how it's going to be because it looks like they're going to retell the episode of Sabo, but from a different perspective again. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but they say it's going to be some untold story or truth of the real reason why he did it. So m hopefully we get some new stuff because we're going to get his reaction to Ace dying and stuff. I, it seems like it's going to be just a retelling of episode of Sabo. Hopefully it's, it's more to it than that, but 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for sure. Let me know what you guys thought about it amazing amazing seeing baltigo seeing the revolutionaries robin's reaction to sabo sabo's just like yo great 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 let me know what you thought about it like if you did subscribe to the channel if you have not that would be dope have a good day people